After a successful uh, Highland Greenhouse tour yesterday, we're going to move to the Saracenia side of things. Uh, probably will be a little bit shorter than yesterday. The Saracenia side of my Highland Greenhouse is about one-third the size of my Nepenthes side. So we'll start off, we have a couple of my favorite right here. This tall one here is a Wilkerson uh, hybrid. So it was actually uh, created by Danny Powell and then grown by Carson Trexler. Um, let's see, Wilkerson Red Rocket crossed with Hurricane Creek White Clone F. This one is probably about two and a half years old and it is already just enormous. I love it. Next up we have Red Viper. So this one kind of matches my shirt today, so I thought it was a perfect one to pull aside. This one was um, bred by Meadowview and Phil Sheridan, I believe. And then next up, we have this beautiful one that I created a little while back. It's Black Widow crossed with Aries. Man. Okay, so we'll get turned around and I will do another greenhouse tour. Let me know what you guys think. So let's get started. So it's not just Saracenia on the temperate side of the greenhouse. This is my uh, Venus flytrap uh, bench here, also with a few sundews. So these are all the Venus flytraps I have uh, pulled aside, propagated, and these ones are all good to be sold or traded. Uh, just to give you an idea, here's a beautiful one here. This one's low giant. As you can see, pretty low to the ground and pretty giant. And then right next to it, we have petite dragon and it's a relatively small uh, red trapped plant. As we move on around, all of these uh, Binata dichotoma giants are some amazing plants. We also have the Multifida extrema. This one is just a young plant, but as you can see, it has already started to divide like crazy. Uh, we'll move on down. These are jaws crossed with petite dragon. More or less a typical looking flytrap, maybe a little bit shorter teeth, um, especially mid-growing season. Uh, King Henry is right here, and that is always just a massive, massive flytrap. Those are just some uh, medium-sized ones that I have on the website. And then look at all these sundews looking cool. Uh, Grün which apparently means green in German. Well, I think it does, but it is a beautiful green clone. I have one whole pot filled with nothing but green that we will get to uh, later on. Moving on down, we have a German Dentata, also known as uh, Sawtooth, um, a really interesting plant that Henning brought into the US uh, a while back. Then we come up onto Mega Traps. There's some Pink Venus. Uh, here's a little Fang down there. And we'll move on around. This is Fly Trap Store Maroon Monster. It's probably either my favorite uh, typical red or right up there. Okay, we'll move on, keep going. Another nice fang back that way. There's just a little pot, uh, blue pot that I have filled with a few Saracenia. Just like the looks of it, just setting aside there. Okay, on this side we have a Dutch Delight. Then we have some Dentata. Clumping cultivar doing its thing. Ah, some of my favorite right now are A2. This is a relation to the famous uh, B-52. Probably doesn't get quite as large, but holy cow, it is a nice looking plant. Onward, we have a cheerleader that this time of year is pretty much a, a typical uh, fly trap that's a little on the orange side, but it'll produce its um, pom-poms, uh, usually first thing in the spring, if it does that year. Uh, Bohemian Garnet is such a lovely plant. It is almost a bright red in color with the short stubby teeth. Uh, some Alien here. These are um, 
not quite big enough to sell yet, but they should be relatively soon. Uh, we come on around. This is actually a weird one. It's one of my favorite that I don't uh, sell a lot of and I don't see in people's collections too often, but it's arching flat skinny leaves. So definitely if you see one of these guys, pick it up because it is just huge, produces just a carpet of traps and every once in a while, yes, I love to have them close on my finger. Okay, moving on, we have Alba, another nice uh, green clone. And then back here is A2, which again, they are just looking enormous this time of year. Okay, move on around, we'll keep on going, keep on going. So you see some of the pygmies, uh, they don't look super great this time of year. Most of them are in a somewhat dormant state. So let's zoom over here and look. So like this here, as you can see, the growing point is still green, but everything else has kind of turned brown. Some species will grow year round like Scorpioides. And let's keep a move on. Let's see, then we have another maroon monster, shotgun star. And these are some uh, typicals here. Then oh, a few more pygmies here, pygmies, pygmies, and let's see. Ah, uh, here's some of the next generation of Saracenia seedlings. So these are all crosses that I made myself and are growing up. We'll see what they turn into. Some should be uh, amazing. Some maybe will just be kind of normal. Uh, next up is actually some of my collection fly traps. So all these were new arrivals in the last 12 months. So let's give it a gander and see what we've got. Ooh, so this is a 007. This one came from Maggie. It is just spectacular. I love the like lasagna wavy teeth. Okay, over here we have a Ron 38J. This is a Green Jaws Phalanx. Bimbo, holy cow, look at the size of that one. I mean, I didn't measure this yet, but this is probably not quite two inches, but getting pretty darn close. Dracula crossed with B-52, Big Jaws Dentata, Axel's Cup, which let's see, it's like a cup trap. Ah, uh, uh, Best Carnivorous Plant, Clone H15, Alien Fuse Tooth. Here's another Ron clone. This one is 38N. Man, that's a solid looking plant. Okay, Lips and Lashes. Ooh, just a solid plant, no doubt. Keep on moving along. Green Jaws Monticore. Green Jaws Hedgehog, Green Jaws Basmati, some brand new arrivals. This one's Godzilla from California Carnivores. And then this one, ooh, Dentata A, supposedly one of the biggest ones out there. So as you can see for the first year under my care, it is doing pretty darn good. Another one I was super excited to get was Predator. This one came from Anthony Moore. He has one of the largest collections of fly traps in the US that I have seen. Ooh, and a werewolf. This one came from Kirk Simpson of uh, Atlanta Carnivores. Definitely check him out. He's uh, just started selling some plants. These two uh, Saracenia hybrids came from him as well and they are just taking off. And we'll keep on moving around. So then these may not be new arrivals, but, ah, Kim Jong Un. This one actually came from uh, Drew Martinez at Carnivoro, along with Tiger Fang, which, whew, that is a spectacular plant. I've seen nothing but good things there. Okay, as we move up, we see a giant um, deep throat. So this one is the one that's on the cover of the most recent release of the Savage Garden. 
So this one I took a division of a little while back and it'll probably be for trade or sale later this year. Uh, then these are a couple I've worked on propagating. So honestly, they don't look all that great right now, but should have some really nice uh, divisions here this fall. This one is Crown of Thorns. We have Shilob's Lair. And then we have some brand new ones. These are from Kirk at Atlanta Carnivores as well. Uh, as you can see, when they first arrive, usually they'll lose most of their old pitchers. But look at this. You can see the size that these new pitchers will be well over twice that size, if not bigger. They did not take long to settle in at all. Okay, so over here we see that same Black Widow crossed with Ares that I created right next to the Red Viper. And then that absolutely massive Wilkerson Red Rocket crossed with Hurricane Creek White clone F. And we're moving on around, moving on around. Okay, some more uh, Saracenia seedlings. I think most of these are uh, my own crosses up front and some relatively new arrivals in the back. And then this is a giant pot of Grun, um, all the same Venus flytrap. I just love the contrast green next to it. Okay, and then we have some pygmy sundews. Again, this isn't really the time of year for them. Whew. Over here, we have one of the most red uh, clones of Leucophila that I grow. It's doing pretty well. Some nice Morii. Here's an amazing Flava. This one, uh, I believe, is the Sumatra County one. Over here, we have a pretty good sized clump of Adrian Slack, and then Leah Wilkerson's off in the background. These got a little bit dry uh, early in the year, so they don't look their best, but they do have some new pictures coming up, so they're holding on strong. On around, here's a beautiful uh, Vintner's Treasure. Ah, this is a really nice clone uh, of Flava. This is a uh, bronze crossed with copper top also from drew then we have doreen's colossus one of the biggest saracenia out there um, made famous by jerry addington of course then we have this clone of a uh, black widow came directly from a phil himself and it is super dark man look at that you guys Keep going onward around. Here's a nice Hurricane Creek White Clone 3, I believe it is. Um, these will produce their best pitchers in the fall, but they still look pretty good for this time of year. We'll look on down here, a nice AF uh, Purpuria uh, Rosa. Okay, another pretty new arrival. This is a clone called Peaches that is pretty common in Europe, and I'd wanted it for a number of years. Hmm, here we have Sword Swallower, a beautiful Phil uh, Morii back there, Prometheus uh, is this excellence in the background, some Alata crossed with um, Flava Var Ornata, this little one down here is known as Lemon Legacy. Uh, still a really new plant, but it produces these bright yellow pitchers with a deep red throat. Here's a little crown of thorns coming along good. Okay, we'll keep on moving around. Give you kind of an overview of this side. Okay, then this is kind of the front and center plants. Here's a Saracenosaurus right next to a Legacy. Then we have a Dan Winter right here. And then we have some uh, new arrivals down below that they are uh, just settling in now and won't look their best until this fall or maybe next year. This is Goldie, which for me, it gets yellow. 
Not quite as gold as what I've seen, but I did just repot this one this year, so maybe give it a year to settle in. This is the Ornata um, Damon's clone. Just absolutely spectacular. Man, it is kind of stuck in there, but as you can see, that shape is perfect. Okay, then a couple really nice Lukes. These were from a Mike Wang this spring, and they have just taken off. So I'm going to try and fit back here. It's kind of tight, but you got to see this Wakama. Probably my favorite Flava that I have ever seen. Maybe some are getting close, but the contrast between the red and the yellow is just perfect. This is a Hurricane Creek White Clone F. As you can see, there's a reason why it's uh, considered the best of the best. Keep on heading around. Ah, here's one of mine that I did a while back. This is Titan crossed with Black Widow. I have a few of those that I've pulled out now. <coughs> God bless me. Then we have uh, Reptilian Rose. Always one that smells so sweet. And let's see, this one is Royal Ruby. Ah, oh, that lip on that is unbelievable. It has a spout that is just ginormous. We'll keep on moving along. This is Hot Lips. This one came from Carson a little while back and is just settling in and loving it. Ooh, then this is a super cool one. This one, man, what is it? But I love how thick and wide that lid is. There has been a little confusion on what exactly this one is, but I think I have it as Oreo crossed with Royal Ruby. So that is just a plant and a half, that is for sure. Okay, we'll kind of turn around. I'm running out of space. Here's a nice um, AF Morii. Um, just getting some big size pictures on it, but look at that. Up there, we can see on Leah Wilkerson just doing her thing. Then we have Wilkerson White Knight. Oh my goodness, that is just incredible. Such a thick plant. They don't get near as tall as Leah Wilkerson, but I'm not sure which I like better. Some years it's for sure Leah, other years it's White Knight. Okay, so we'll see if we can fit and turn around and head on out. Okay, there we go. Made it. And just try not to trip over anything here. Okay, right here we have this giant capensis. This one is known as Big Pink. Pretty good size. Repotted it this year and should be just spectacular. Then here... So this area wasn't getting quite enough light, so I moved some things around. Here is a giant uh, deep throat, which uh, should be a little bit darker in color, a little more red, but uh, now it'll be super happy that it gets a full sun. This is Phil's giant miner. Then we have the absolute massive Saracenosaurus right behind it. It is just a perfect plant. So big, so dark, and there's a reason why it's so famous. Okay, as we move on around, here is Potty Mouth, which is another one of Phil's hybrids that has one of the biggest lids of any Saracenia I have ever seen. I mean, I think I measured it last year and we were having seven inches across. I mean, it just doesn't get much bigger than that. Okay, here's an F88. Again, just repotted this one last year, so it's not looking its best, but it'll settle in and be super happy. Ah, uh, here's one of the first Saracenia hybrids I ever made. This is um, Leah Wilkerson crossed with Micheliana. This one is massive. It ate an entire iPhone X this spring, and I can't wait to see what some of these fall pictures do. But look at that. Okay, as we move on around, some relatively new arrivals, some hybrids. Whew, 
look at the colors on this. This one, let's check. It's worth seeing. It's purple lips crossed with royal ruby. Holy cow. This one was done by Fred P. He sent me some seed, and this is probably my favorite clone of that exact cross. As we move on around. Okay, here we have brown sugar which is just enormous already this year and has such a great color to it. Look at that, look at that. Okay, and then back there we have a absolute enormous Markston's Dragon. This one I held when I repotted everything on this bench and it was bigger than I was. Then back in this corner we have Titan one of my tallest Leucophila, and it's uh, proven to be a pretty good breeder so far. Okay, and we will keep moving around here. Then, on this side, this is the famous Leucophila purple lips, so one of the parents of Saraciniosaurus. And as you can see, for like spring pitchers, that is pretty spectacular. Just behind it, we have Phil's Clone 2, a super dark Morii for me. And then these are some hybrids that I created. I'll have to look because honestly I don't remember what they are. Um, back here we have a Dan Winter, which produces its best pictures in the fall as well, but I just love the shape on that. Moving on around. Here are some uh, Saurus crossed with Oreophila, a few clones that were pretty recent arriver, rivals from Carson as well, and they are all just gems. Okay, and then here we have one, uh, I believe this one's known as Pink Champagne. When it first opens, it's a beautiful pink color. Let's see, most of these have already darkened up, but it is a really neat plant. I believe bred by a Travis Wyman. Just behind it, we have Meadowview's White Knight, along with Stingray. Then this is one of Mike Wang's Bullock County Black Veins. Absolutely stunning. Um, we have Lolita down in there, another one of Jerry's crosses. Then I love this one. I've nicknamed it Hot Rod because the yellow and orange stripes reminded me of flames on a hot rod. Okay, we'll keep on moving around. Here's my second biggest of the Wilkerson Red Rocket crossed with Hurricane Creek White. Still a pretty nice plant, but hasn't grown at near the rate the other one has. Whew, this is a beautiful one. It's Oh, LH121, I forget what it is, but I think it's a purple lips crossed with Leah Wilkerson. I'm gonna throw out a guess, but we'll have to check that back. Down here, we have a Brunswick Beauty, which honestly, I probably should have repotted it this year because it's definitely a little crowded, but the camera can't even capture how dark this is. Some of last year's pictures have started to fade, so I will need to pull those out, but it's uh, doing pretty good. Oh, another nice uh, new arrival here. Uh, PO1 crossed with Adrian Slack number 10. Then we have PO1 right here. Whew, that should be a good one. This little tall one, I believe it's an Italian, uh, very white, deep, red-throated plant. Uh, the name passes me right now, but as I remember, it's about 20 letters long, so good luck to that. Okay, as we look down here, we have one of Johnny's hybrids. This is Whistleberry Toad. Man, and it is coming along. Just a lovely, like, stout plant with really nice, firm pitchers. Okay, here's a little one, also a newly arrived. It's a, called Inspiration. 
A uh, little division off my legacy. This one is something, something, a, what's it called? Polaris, a something along those lines, but I'll have to look it up. Another white one with a deep red throat once it's established. As we move on around, we have Dana's Delight, which is always just a delight. Okay, as we go down, I do keep a couple Pinguicula kind of at the base. This is Hummer's Hammerhead. Hmm. Really nice uh, clone of Purpuria, so use this one for a lot of breeding this year. Uh, most of my Oreos are kind of on their way out. This one is down to like two pretty decent looking pitchers still. This one is known as uh, Purple Throat, or I believe it's Mike Wang something something zero one seven, give or take. Uh, just some various uh, Leucophila clones all across here. Keep on moving around. This one is actually one of my most exciting plants. Phil actually gave this one to me at the ICPS conference in the Bay Area in 2018. It is known as S something, S75, which is about 20 uh, different crosses all combined into one, so it's way too long to repeat. But we'll see how this one turns out. Uh, here are a couple other new arrivals. As you can see, their color hasn't... Um, uh, fully formed yet. Most of these are reptilian rose uh, hybrids. They came from Kenji a little while back, and they should be spectacular. Uh, some more new arrivals here. This one is uh, Helen. Oh boy, which is this one? You know what? I forget, but I believe it is something cool. Ah, uh, and then this one, a super exciting one. This one's known as Atlas V, and it should get enormous. We'll come on down. Then we have uh, PO1 crossed with uh, Montana, I believe. Man, for a new arrival, that lid and that color, I'm super excited about that. Okay, as we keep on moving, these are all um, Venus flytrap spider. Nice, uh, tall, erect traps. Up over here, we have Viridula dentata, one of the stickiest plants I've ever met. They will catch just about anything that they're able to ensnare. Okay, another nice uh, seed-grown Morii. Then we have uh, some really nice dark, huge mouth flabas. These are seed grown from, I believe, Santa Rosa, but I'll have to check on that. And then as we go up here, it's kind of a weird one. It's known as pink eye. So it slowly fades to pink as everything ages. Okay, keep on turning around. Again, try not to go too fast so you all don't get dizzy. Okay, so this one is one of my favorite hybrids I've created. It is a Titan crossed with Black Widow. Holy cow, it's only a couple years old, but look at how dark that is. Pretty good size. I love how you can tell like all colors still say, stay so separate. So you get the green veins, you get the black veins, almost a red vein, and then the white. And look at that. And it doesn't seem to fade to either all green or all red as things age. So this one right now is just known as Clone 2, but hopefully a name sooner or later. Uh, this is a uh, Morii Elizabeth H193. Um, this one's came from Mike King originally. And we have H100 Flash. And some various seedlings here, smaller plants. Uh, these are some little um, Wilkerson White Knight crossed with Hurricane Creek White. 
is we'll move on around. Kind of an interesting one I've pulled aside for now. We'll see how it turns out. This one is AW31. Okay, and coming along another uh, Dentata right there. And some more uh, fly traps. And man, I think that is about it. Another Multiflora Extrema. This one's starting to take over. More seedlings on this side, just kind of at that size where I'm deciding if I'm keeping it or if they are ready to be sold. Ooh, this one I love. This one I believe is a Royal Ruby crossed with Adrian Slack. And it is just a super stout pitcher, like plastic almost. So I love it when they can uh, stay upright without my help. Okay, so we are gonna turn around, kind of give you a quick overview, but that is more or less the Saracenia side of my Highland greenhouse. So truthfully, it's a little too humid for these Saracenia, but they don't seem to mind too much. Most um, will produce pretty good pitchers, um, probably for about 10 months out of the year in these conditions because it never gets much colder than about um, 50 degrees on this side of the greenhouse, but um, definitely will go mostly dormant for a couple months. Okay, well, I'll see if I have time to do my last temperate greenhouse, which is the one where I have almost all my collection fly traps in it. Um, if there is anything else you guys wanna see, just leave a comment and let me know. Okay, over and out for this greenhouse. Man, an hour and a half. That should keep you guys occupied for a little while. See you soon.